Hi, welcome to the course Playing with Numbers. You're here to learn many interesting things about numbers. Move your mouse over the objects on the table to see what they have. Click Next to continue. Sometimes it's difficult to count all the coins in your piggy bank. I'll tell you how easy it can be to count them all. Whole numbers are simply the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Do you know what happens if you add 0 to any number? If you add zero to any number, you get the same number. There were 12 coins in your piggy bank. Today, your dad gave you 15 more. How many coins are now there in the piggy bank? Let's now learn how to add some big numbers. Take a look at the numbers on the screen. To add these numbers, begin from the right side. When you add 5 to 6, you get 11. The left digit of this sum is carried over to the number on the left. This means that 1, carried over from the sum of 11, will be added to 6 and 8. That makes it 15. Again. The left digit of this sum, which is 1, will be carried over to the numbers on the left. 1 will now be added to 7 and 9, which gives us 17. That's why the answer to the above addition is 1,751. Wow, that's a big number. Let's try an exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. Well done! We are now through with adding numbers. I'll tell you how easy it is to find the difference between two numbers. Oops! Three bottles have fallen on the floor. Never mind, we still have some left. Can you count how many are left? Great! That's correct! You just subtracted one number from another.
Do you know what happens if you subtract zero from any number? If you subtract zero from any number, you get the same number. Let's now learn how to subtract some big numbers. There were 765 stars in the sky. The clouds came and hid some of the stars. Now you can see only 586 stars. How many stars are hidden inside the clouds? To find the answer, you have to begin from the right side of the bigger number. You can't subtract or take away 6 from 5 because 6 is more than 5. So 5 must borrow 1 from its neighbor on the left, which makes it 15. Now you can subtract 6. When you take away 6 from 15, you get 9. The neighbor 6 on the left is now 5 because you borrowed 1 from here. Now you've got to subtract 8 from 5. You guessed it right. We need to borrow again. After borrowing, we have 15 from which 8 needs to be taken away. The result is 7. The last one on the left, 7, is left with 6. We'll be left with 1 if we subtract 5 from this. Woo! Now you know how many stars went to the clouds. Let's try an exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. That's not it. To subtract these numbers, begin from the right side. Borrow one from the digit on the left and find the result. Continue borrowing, if required, until you find the result of the last digit on the left. That's how, for this workout, the correct answer is 3,688. That's all I have to tell you about subtracting numbers. Do you know what happens if you multiply zero with any number? If you multiply any number with zero, you get only zero. Now guess what happens if you multiply any number by 1. If you multiply any number by 1, you get the same number. Now let's try multiplying some bigger numbers by a one-digit number. Get ready for the examples shown on the screen. To multiply, begin by multiplying 7 with the rightmost digit, which is 5. This gives us 35. Now carry over 3 to the second digit from the right, which is 4. Multiply 7 by 4 and add the 3 carried over. This gives us 31. You carry over 3 this time to the last digit on the left, and this gives us 24. That's why the product of this multiplication is 2,415. Hey, what does Muff have to say? Let's try an exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. That's right. We are now through with
with multiplication. I'll tell you how easily I share my chocolates with my friends. I just divide them equally between all my friends. That's what division is about. I even know that the number to be divided is known as the dividend, such as 125. The number that divides the other number is known as the divisor, such as 5. Let's now divide 125 by 5. Over the symbol for division, we first write 0. This is because 1 cannot be divided into 5 whole numbers. Now carry over 1 to the next digit, which is 2. That makes it 12. Now write 2 because 5 twos are 10. The balance 2 is carried over again to the last digit, which is 5. This gives us 25. Now write 5 because 5 fives are 25. The result we have here is 25. Hey Muff, that's great! Dividing a number by 1 does not change the number. Let's try an exercise now. Click on through when you are done. Congratulations, you've got it! We're done with division now. Let's learn about fractions so that we can decorate our Christmas tree this season. Take a look at the fractions above. The number on top is the numerator and the one below is the denominator. These fractions tell us that we have one part out of two, one out of four, and three out of eight. Take a look at the fractions on the screen. 4 by 8 can be simplified by dividing 4 by 8. This gives us 1 by 2 finally, or half. As we divide, we notice that each fraction is a half. For example, 4 by 8 means half of the total, which is 8. Therefore, each of these fractions are equivalent. You can add fractions easily if the denominator is the same. You add the numerators but not the denominators. As shown here, remember to simplify the result. Take a look at another example on the screen. If the denominators are different, there is another method. Make the denominators the same
We are now done with adding fractions. Let's learn about subtracting fractions so you can find out how much money you have in your piggy bank. Take a look at the examples shown. To subtract fractions when denominators are common, subtract the numbers on top and simplify the result. You can simplify a fraction by dividing it by a common number. In this case, 2 and 6 are divisible by 2, so we have 1 by 3. If the denominators are different, there is another method. Make the denominators the same by multiplying 5 by 2 because 5 twos are 10. Then multiply 4 also by 2 to get 8. Simplify the result to get 3 by 5. Let's try an exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. Bravo, that's correct. We are now through with subtracting fractions.